Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping back in with the TDS GTN XI Pro Series and the new Navigraph integration features. Now, a feature that doesn't necessarily require it, uh, but it does help because we need those databases to be matching. So we want to export from SimBrief our flight plans and bring those into the cockpit. So first thing we want to do, is we want to jump inside and we want to download the necessary software. When you come into your SimBrief dashboard, even if you have a flight ready to go, the first thing we're going to need to do is come to software downloads and you're going to want to download the SimBrief downloader. Obviously we want it for Windows because we're using it. Once you've downloaded it and you've installed it, you're going to want to go ahead and run it. The SimBrief downloader, you have some settings uh, that you can edit. So when you look at the changing of settings, and these will come in handy. So first, you can set this up to run automatically on startup. You can show a notification when minimize the tray. So even if I hit the close button, it's actually going to minimize to the tray. You have to close it from the tray. I like to check a box because it'll show me a list of the files saved. You can also overwrite existing files when exporting without prompting. So this can be helpful if you do a lot of a certain route and you don't want to just keep building them one on top of the other. So you can just have it always overwrite automatically. Always export new flights automatically. Now we're going to come back and we'll probably enable this to make this even more seamless. Uh, but you'll see even with this off, it's not that bad for what you have to click on. Once you've set up these settings, you go ahead and you save and close. So now what's important is enabling the locations that you want the SimBrief downloader to export to. So for some people, it's nice to be able to have it go to a PDF, get your OFP, and you may have a specific folder that you always want these OFPs dumped into as well. Then what you can do is plane by plane, enable the locations. So for example, the Aerosoft CRJ, either with or without airway, so it'll automatically know to remove those. Now, this means that when that checkbox is enabled, it will also export my flight plans to this location. But here, you're going to pick the directory of where the work folder is. And so they gave two folders for the CRJ because there's actually the two different series of CRJ. Uh, so that's nice. It'll export it to both so you don't have to worry. But I'm not going to check this off because today what we care about is doing our TDS. So if you scroll down here to the TDS and we enable it. So this is the folder that you want to place it in. So this is already inside of the manual. If you read the TDS manual, it tells you this is where you go to put the Garmin flight plan, flight plans, and they will show up. So C program data, TDS, GTN, XI, FPL. With this enabled, the moment we get a update, a new flight plan, it is going to save and create a file for us. So here you can see in the folder right now, it is empty. There is nothing there. And we can go ahead at this moment because we've configured this the way we want and we can close this, but it's actually gone down to the tray as we see here. So here we're going to go and I'm going to edit the flight that I have. So the first thing we're doing today is we're going to be going from CYOW to CYGK. So we're acting as a medevac on the PC-12. We're going to head down to CYGK, drop somebody off, pick somebody else up. And from there, we're actually going to be going to CYTZ. So as soon as we generate this flight plan, we're gonna see this notification. Your latest Simbri flight plan is now available. Click here to export items. So by clicking on this, it has gone ahead and it has created our CYOW to CYGK in the Garmin flight plan. And we're good to go. We can hit close. So now we have our CYOW to CYGK. There was nothing in this folder before we started the sim. And so because of that, when we head over to our GTNs and we go into our flight plan and we go to menu and we go to catalog and when we go to import, you'll notice the import is not available. And that's because the GTNs will scan that folder for a file, any file, any Garmin flight plan file on boot up. You need there to be at least 
one file in that folder for the button to become available. Now, you could recycle the avionics, so turn off the avionics switch and that will also work. Uh, also, as a little cheat, I know that I can just pull the breaker. You'll see that it's gone. We'll plug the breaker back in and it will boot up again. Got our current database. So now when we click on catalog and we go to do the import, you'll see the import button is now available. So we can click on import. We can go ahead and we can pick up that new flight plan and we can even store it to our catalog or hit the activate button. So this will replace our current route. We click OK and then it brings us back to our flight plan and we can see our active flight plan has been brought in. What's also neat about this, because obviously if this is a much bigger flight plan, obviously we'd have a whole bunch more waypoints and it's a lot of information. Well, what's also kind of cool about this is this isn't cross fill, but it is another way to quickly get the flight plan into both units. So if we come to catalog, if we go ahead and we bring up the flight plan catalog, you see that same problem. We don't have the import. So again, same quick task. We'll hop over here. We'll pull the breaker, put it back in, and we'll wait for this one to boot up. So now we come on in. We're going to clear out our messages, and we are going to go to the catalog again. And now you'll see that import is there. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to grab our CYOW and we're going to activate that. Do you really want to be constantly pulling circuit breakers? This is why I was saying it's very important to have at least one file in there when you first load in. So as long as we have this one file, then now when we go and pull in additional routes, everything is going to be just fine. So we'll bring up our sim brief and since we've got our next flight loaded in our saved flights, I'm going to head over here. We're going to load that we're going to be going from CYGK. Yep, pick up our new runways. Thank you very much. Uh, we could go ahead and say, oh, we're going to have 200 pounds and we're going to have uh, three people in addition to the two pilots. And we will have the Elixu one starting from Elixu. So that looks great. So we'll go ahead and we will save the flight plan. That way I just have those things, but we will generate it. And the SimBrief downloader pops in. We can click on this notification and it will automatically download and add that for us. So of course, when we jump back into the Sim, if we jump into the catalog, and we now go to menu import you will notice that we don't have to reboot these again as long as there's one file in there when it initializes it makes sure to show the import button so now we have our cygk to cytz flight plan ready to go and load it in same thing over here if we check on the 650 and we go to its import you'll notice it's there and it's ready to go before we show the third one because we're going to pull in a third flight let's go back by going into our system tray and opening up our simbrief downloader now let's go back to changing the settings and let's change this and say overwrite existing files without prompting and always export new flights automatically so now what's going to happen is we don't need to worry about clicking on that button anymore so let's head back to SimBrief. We can still show this folder as well, but we'll come back to SimBrief. We'll go to our saved flights. And from CYTZ, oh, we didn't set one up. So let's just do a new flight. For CYTZ, we'll be headed back to CYOW on the full loop. Uh, and we'll go with uh, CYUL. I'm just going to stick it out further. Aircraft type. We're going to go ahead. It's going to be the PC-12. And we're using the executive. 
um, is the, the model we're using for this today. Uh, and again, on the way back, maybe we'll only have two passengers and we'll only have, uh, say, 150 pounds. So then we're gonna come down here. We're gonna say, find our star. So Bullmet 7, Myvok Capital 5. Yep, that's kind of the standard way to get back to Ottawa from the island. Uh, so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna save this flight so that I don't have to worry about pulling that up again. So now we're gonna go ahead and we are going to generate that flight. And SimBrief automatically downloaded it and dropped it into the folder. Now again, if you don't want this update and you don't want that window showing up, then don't forget, you can just change the settings and say, I don't want to see a list after export. So there you go. So our third one is in there. And of course, we head back into the flight plan and we say, hey, I need to import. Boom. All three are available for us and are available to import into our flight plan. Well, with that, I think we're going to shoot off and get ourselves headed on our way to Kingston. With Ottawa in the background, I'd like to thank you guys for sticking around this long. If you could, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Come along on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.